I'm going to show you how to make Creative Kiwis in the Hoop Mushroom Coaster freebie. And for that I'm going to be using a 4x4 hoop, two layers of wash away stabiliser, matching bobbin and thread, my squizzers, some masking tape and my fabrics and batting cut to size. And I thought it would be fun if we made it reversible today. In the video description there's a link to this design along with lots of other information for you. So please do take the time to have a look. You're going to start off by hooping your two layers of wash away stabiliser. And I like to pin around the top edge of my hoop so that my stabiliser stays nice and tall in the hoop. So take your pin, rest it on top of the inside hoop frame, push it through your stabiliser and then bring it back round and through. You're going to do that on all four sides. The bigger your hoop, the more pins you will use. I'm just going to trim this off just so there's not too much excess. Load your file into your machine along with your matching bobbin and thread. And then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you the placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and then hold it in place with a little bit of tape. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure it. Remove your tape and then you're going to trim up the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line. We're now going to add the fabrics for the stem of the mushroom, the foot of the mushroom. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Turn your hoop back and do the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and then stitch round number three to secure them. Turn your hoop over and we're just going to trim along the, the top edge here. So I'm going to turn my hoop upside down. Place your backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Turn your hoop over and then place your front fabric over the outline as well. And if you've got it like here, you've got that um, overlapping the line, just trim it away. So place your fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure them. You're now going to add the spots. So turn your hoop over and place your fabric for the spots over the outline and then tape it in place. Turn your hoop back and do the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number five to secure them. You're now going to trim up all your fabrics, both front and back of the hoop. So turn your hoop over. You're now going to trim up the excess fabrics from both back and front of your hoop. So turn your hoop over.
Load your matching bobbin and thread for the spots into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number six. Load your matching bobbin and thread for the satin stitching around the edge of the foot and then you're going to stitch round number seven. If you're adding your backing at this stage then you would tape it in place and then stitch round number eight to secure it. As we've been doing a reversible one and um, we've been adding our fabrics as we go. We're going to stitch round number eight anyway because it's not going to do any harm. You can skip it if you wish to. And then immediately afterwards we're going to stitch round number nine and that's going to do the satin stitching around the edge of the head of our mushroom. And now round number nine which is the satin stitching. If you want to change your thread and bobbin colour, now is the time to do so. You're now going to free your mushroom from the hoop, so turn your hoop over. And you're going to cut around the edge, taking care not to cut the stitching. All that remains now is to dissolve the rest of the stabiliser. So take a cotton bod and some warm water, dip it in and just run it round the edge. And that's your mushroom complete. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me.